My name is Michael Pickett. I um, served in the United States Army from 1980 until 2010. Infantry is my specialty. Uh, my rank is Command Sergeant Major, and that's the rank that I retired at, Command Sergeant Major. Um, <clears throat> my military career started out uh, in Fort Benning, Georgia, uh, on the infantry uh, unit. And I went from there to, actually I went to um, Colorado, to Fort Carson, Colorado, the first duty station. I was fortunate enough to leave Fort Carson and go to the Berlin Brigade in Berlin, Germany. Uh, probably one of the most memorable moments of my 30-year military career in the Army was serving in the Berlin Brigade in Berlin, Germany. The wall was up in the Berlin Brigade uh, when, during my first tour from 1982 to 1984. And when I went back in 1985 to 1989, the Berlin Wall came down. It was taken down. And that was the, that signified the um, defenders of freedom, which we were, right? That freedom had prevailed at that point to the extent that the Berlin Wall came down. All right. As this wall came down, it allowed the East Germans and the West Germans, East Berliners and West Berliners, East Germans and uh, West Germans to reunite, to unify as a, a whole country again, which was an extremely significant uh, point during the Cold War uh, era. So, uh, you know, I look back on that and it was quite a memorable uh, time for me, but it was a history making time for me as well. And I got an opportunity to guard this guy. His name was Rudolf Hess. If you look back in the history, right, there's a long um, history with Rudolf Hess and some of the things, atrocities that he was uh, supposed to be, you know, attached to and stuff. And he was one of Hitler's, you know, top men. So, you know, I got this opportunity to guard this guy in prison. And, um, you know, just to think about that, you know, some people think, well, there's no big deal. Well, to me, it was a big deal, right, because of all the things that, you know, was attached to his name and during the era that, Hitler reign. So uh, I got an opportunity to see him in prison one day. So we were out posting the guards. I was a sergeant, an E5 at the time, and you know, I was walking around with my chest out and I had my guys, I was going to post them, you know, to the, uh, to the different stations. And uh, he just happened to be in the path that we had to walk in. And uh, you know, he was a pretty honorary old guy. And uh, as we were approaching, approaching him, right, he stood his ground right there in the center of the path still, which means, you know, okay, we could do one of two things. You could run over him or you could go around him, right? So, you know, we, uh, I, you know, told my men to, you know, make the pass and we went around them and kept going. And uh, like I said, he was an ornery old man. The son of a gun gave us the finger. And, you know, we all looked at him, stayed professional, you know, as we were. And uh, we went past him and posted the guards and, and, you know, we kept thinking that afternoon, I told the guards, I said, you know, that's why we are guarding him and he's in prison and we are free. Why did I join the military? Well, um, for me, in North Carolina in 1980, the fields were hot um, and, you know, life was just difficult. And, uh, you know, dollars didn't come easy. So, you know, I look at a better way, actually, uh, a better way of, uh, you know, making it for myself and providing for my family. Even though I was a single, uh, you know, 23 when I joined the military and single, right? I still look back at, you know, mother and father and I was able to help them out with, you know, money that I made in the military because 23 year old military providing everything for me that I needed. You know, I didn't need that much money. I could go out and blow it. Or I could, you know, send some money back home, do some things there. So that's what I did. I say teamwork is important because um, being a team member is such an important part of the success of the military. And one thing that I, you know, I look at when I talk about that team membership is I look at the, the big picture of things because you're a small pond. And when you look at the big goal, the big mission, the big objective that's trying to be accomplished, right? when you are able to accomplish your part. 